you guys so I have already primed my eyes with my Too Faced shadow insurance primer and also my Sigma eyeshadow base in the color Persuade the first color that I'm gonna be using today is Frappe from Makeup Geek and this color is gonna be going into my crease with a fluffy blending brush and I'm blending this into my crease doing back and forth blending motions So the next color that I'm going to use is Coco Bear from Makeup Geek and I'm also going to be putting that into my crease. I'm just not going to bring it up as high as I brought up Frappe. And a trick that I like to do when I'm trying to define my crease a little bit more which is what I'm trying to do with this Coco Bear color is that I'm not going to be holding my brush from this angle down which is what I usually do when I'm putting colors into my crease. I'm actually going to hold it up from like a higher angle and buff that into the crease holding the brush up like this I just feel like holding the brush up from this higher angle just gives you better control of where exactly you're putting that color in so I'm actually feeling like I want to warm up my crease a little bit more so I'm going to be taking this single eyeshadow from Makeup Forever. It's one of their artist eyeshadows. I don't know the name or color of this one. It doesn't say it in the back but you can just use whatever uh, orange eyeshadow you have at home. From this point on I'm going to do a voiceover. I'm taking my Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue and applying that into my eyelid and next I'm going to be taking this beautiful sparkler from Makeup Geek. It's in the color Solstice and it's just this beautiful mint pigment moving on to the face I'm gonna use the Mac pro longwear concealer to conceal all the dark spots that I have on my face and after I blend that in I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal true match foundation this is in the color W6. For concealer, I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild highlighting pen and then blending that in with a damp beauty blender. I set the concealer with the uh, Ben Nye Banana Powder and after letting that bake on my face for a few minutes, I wiped it right off. For bronzer, I'm using the Rimmel London Natural Bronzer. To contour my face, I'm going to be using this uh, contouring powder from Makeup Geek. It's in the color Complicated, which is a cool medium. And these are just so pigmented and easy to blend. I was honestly very impressed with them. Now I'm going to be taking Half Hearted, which is a cooler color to contour my nose. For blush, I'll be applying Luminoso from Milani, which is definitely my go-to summer blush. I'm going to be using this illuminator from Becca in the color Opal to highlight my brow bone. Taking this foiled eyeshadow from Makeup Geek, it's in the color Starry Eyed. I'm going to be highlighting the inner corners of my eyes. Now I'm taking Coco Bear again and applying that to my lower lash line. Here I'm just applying a coat of mascara to my top and bottom eyelashes. For lashes, I'm using the base Goddess from Coco Lashes.
To highlight my face, I'm gonna be using So Hollywood Illuminator from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is another bay. You guys see me using this lip liner like almost every single video that I have. This is the NYX lip liner in the color Brown Cafe. And I'm using that to line my lips. And then I'm going to be going over with the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss in the color Undress. And this is the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really truly appreciate it. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and come say hi on Snapchat and Twitter. I will see you guys on my next one. Have a good one. Thanks.